Yeah, guys, and it's interesting for this reason. Some of the very same polls that have DeSantis leading Putnam in the primary also showed that it's Putnam who would outperform DeSantis against virtually any Democrat. That's an age-old scenario. Political analyst Susan McManus has seen it before. Candidates win the primary, but struggle in the general election. Why? The danger is nominating somebody that can't win in a general because they're either too liberal or too conservative, depending on what party, and they can't reach out to the growing mass of people who are independents and don't particularly like either party. Polls suggest that might be the case if Ron DeSantis wins the Republican gubernatorial primary. Take a look at this Gravis poll taken just a couple of weeks ago. In a head-to-head -head race against Gwen Graham, who currently leads the pack of Democrats, Putnam wins by a point. DeSantis loses to Graham by four. Primaries are very treacherous in a way. They can yield a candidate that has trouble coming back and appealing to the general public and the no party affiliation in the general. In the same poll, both GOP candidates would defeat the other four Democratic contenders, but Putnam does so by a more comfortable margin. Trump being here is very important for DeSantis and will energize his voters, but it may also energize Putnam voters who are very offended by the fact that Trump is picking sides in a Republican primary. It's possible if DeSantis wins the primary, he'd pick up some of Putnam's supporters. But there's a risk, says McManus, that a more polarizing GOP candidate would also rally the Democratic base and alienate more moderate independent voters. And that's a problem when it gets to the general election because they're the ones that can tip an election in one way or another. And ultimately, remember, this is supposed to be about winning elections. Rallies are great, but winning in the general election is ultimately the key. So how much of a factor will Donald Trump be when the primaries are over and it comes time for the general election here in the state of Florida? Well, look no further than our own Senate contest going on right now here in the state of Florida. Rick Scott versus Bill Nelson. I'll explain why that may be a huge barometer coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. For now, live in Tampa at the Trump rally, Eric Glasser, 10 News.